What's up guys, I'm Arsene from RossProtect.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now in this video I'm going to whisper a little bit because it's late at night and I still wanted to get a video out so that's why I'm whispering. I don't want the whole building to wake up and like be mad at me. So hopefully you guys can hear me and I'm uh, not loud enough to wake up the whole building. But in this video we're going to install something called Boink. Boink was created by Berkeley, Berkeley the college. And uh, what it does is basically it uses computer resources from other computers like let's say you decide to join the Boink program and uh, you want to you want to use a you want to use your computer sorry for a specific project whether it be like the SETI. SETI is basically a project uh, where uh, where computers analyze radio uh, signals to see if there are any extraterrestrial whatever waves or I don't, I don't know how the whole thing works but they, basically they use computers they have a antenna or a satellite somewhere like I think in Puerto Rico and they scan the sky for like radio waves and they, they'll, they'll know if extraterrestrial uh, signals from space so it takes a lot of computing power to be able to uh, scan all those all those the whole area in the sky so Berkeley created something called Boink. Boink was originally created for SETI, SETI at home that's the name of the project by the way to uh, delegate or sh or have more people join in, in and use their computers to, to start like uh, uh, scanning the sky and testing out whatever uh, data is coming from that satellite. So basically, again, you join Boink, your computer becomes part of the of the testing, and uh, its resources like its CPU and its GPU, whatever gets used. Uh, Boink assigns you a specific task to your computer and your computer does it and sends it back to Boink. So it's, it's, it, it works out well, you know, people voluntarily give up their computers uh, for the program uh, forever long they want. You just have to install a program, set up which project you want. Uh, SETI at Home was like the original one, but they have other ones. They are like hundreds of other projects you can, uh, you can start, uh, whether it be like curing cancer, whatever it is they have they have a project for it but i thought it was freaking cool i'm more intrigued with the study at home finding out if there are extraterrestrial activity out there i really want to know so the first thing we need to do is open up a browser navigate to boink click on downloads right here then we're going to go click on this download boink not the uh not the one with the virtual box just click on this one right here let it download. Once it's finished downloading, double click it. Click on yes. Give it a second or two to load. Wait for it to say next. It's preparing some, some shit. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, so now click on next. Click on accept. Next. Uh, next again. Install. Should install. Give it like a minute or so. And it's finished. That, that was pretty fast. I'm going minim to minimize this. And let me just drink some coffee. Oh, I'm out of coffee. All right. So once you're finished installing, this thing uh, would pop up prompting you to choose a program. Remember I told you that there are a shit ton of programs? Look, these are, pr I think, all the programs. And I'm scrolling down right now. SETI is right here. That's the one I'm gonna choose. But they have a lot of them. Like, you guys could, like, check out whatever program you want. If, if one catches your eye and you like it, you could start that. So I'm gonna use the SETI at home. It's highlighted. And the project details here says SETI. Search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Uh, is a scientific area whose goal is to detect intelligent life outside Earth. One approach, known as a radio SETI, uses radio telescopes to listen to narrow uh, bandwidth radio signals from space. Such signals are not known. So we're going to click on next. That was a little description. It's going to communicate with the project right now. And um, if you don't have an account, you have to create one. Uh, I don't have one right now, so I'm going to create one right now. I'll just use my email address. Uh, 
Then I'm going to choose a password. Click on next. It's going to communicate again. Project added. Click on finish. It, it, uh, it started up the browser. Oh, cool. So it just starts up the project. It asks you to finish the project. Select your name, your country. Mine says United States. And my zip code is 11385. Click OK. I'm going to just click on uh, search. And I think that's it. I can just close this. And it should start processing suspended bench benchmarks running so it, what it does basically it tests out your CPU your RAM and like your GPU to see how, how much power you can produce for the project once that's finished and it'll start assigning projects to your like CPU and stuff like that basically again it, all it does is uses your CPU your GPU um, the boink uh, sends you some work to your computer let's say it just got some uh, some data from the satellite the the satellite that's in Puerto Rico I don't know the name of it you guys have to look it up yourself but there's basically a satellite in Puerto Rico which is used to scan the sky for radio waves uh, not just regular wave, radio waves but radio waves for from extraterrestrials so it scans them I guess um, it gets them then it sends it out to all the computers all the boink uh, participating computers and, and they'll assign different tasks. Alright guys, so what I basically did is I just switched up the projects. Now I'm running the Einstein at home project and uh, the SETI at home wasn't like uh, retrieving any jobs for some reason so I just switched it up. Now we're running the Einstein at home. It's another one of the projects where it would use your computer to uh, test or scan data or whatever. The Einstein at home basically uh, searches for gamma ray pulsar binary gamma ray pulsars so really cool I'm gonna look more into this I think it's cool you can uh, volunteer your your computer resources to help a greater cause and there are a lot of things out there like curing cancer uh, searching for extraterrestrial activity stuff like that and you can help uh, by just downloading a program called boink and letting it run in the background and it, it will help a lot by the way you know if everybody use their computer resources to help in the effort we could get things done like really fast so i i think it's really cool that there are things like point out there so if you guys want to test it out point is free i'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can download it and they have a million projects you can just look and see which one you like the best uh sign up for it it's really easy to do and then it just starts running in the background and you can stop it whenever you want so I'm gonna leave this running in the background alright guys that's pretty much it for this video if you like this video please give me a like if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel I'm Resident from RossBirdTech.com and thank you guys for watching